I know it's obvious, but it's just kind of for what we would perceive as rusty old track to make them good again. And I think some of them are even just going to be used as like commutes like they do here as they repair and restore the newer tractors. Station Yard, Blunchum. Ah, one of our guys is already here. Let's go have a word with them. What I don't want to do is come in here and block. Let's go see what we got. No, I'm alright, cheers mate. Oh, do my belt up, that would help. What we got? When he's out, when he's gone. Uh, well, I can hear you wait for a minute, I'll just move that. What are we gonna do? Put that on the wash bay first. Yeah, might as well. Could do with a new tyre, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just let us know when you want to. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on. Right. No worries. We are on the bay. Let's see what we got. I was going to say, what's it? Yeah, bigger than 152, isn't it? Yeah, like a 154. Four, four. We're 154, yeah. How many you got in there? Four? Or three? Three. Uh, you do like restore them. Yeah. Four yeah. tractors and a plane. Yeah, I'll get them. Yeah, I'll get them. Where'd they come from? All over the place. Where, sorry? These lot come from America. America? Yeah. Oh, nice. I was just looking at this tractor here, and I was just thinking, how the hell did they get that in here? And I asked the guy, and he said he probably drove it in here. Not only did they drive it in here, they drove it in here without a seat. Drove up the other wheels of a tractor with no seat on. Amazing. I mean, I don't know if they actually did do that, but that's what he said they probably did do, so... I'll take his word for it. So what he's got now is he's changed the uh, chains over and he's put like a tow bar on it. So I'm guessing he's gonna get that behind the wheels while they unstrap it so it doesn't fall back. And then I'm guessing just simply move back and get it underneath the wheels, hook it up. Right, so that's two down. Uh, still two to go. There was four on him. It's a bigger one next. So we've had two smaller ones. Some sort of, I don't know, agriculture machine like thingy. We'll see when it gets out. So, yeah, I didn't think this job would be this interesting, but it's actually uh, turned out to be quite good.
So I was talking to the guys here that are um, offloading them, and he was telling me that uh, they're from Texas, these tractors. It's kind of cool to think that they were uh, working out in the fields in Texas, and now they're here in the UK to be restored. Like, this container as well was shipped all the way from Texas across the Atlantic Sea for these to be here. I know it's obvious, but it's just kind of, when you kind of put it into perspective, it's mad really when you think about it, like for what we would perceive as rusty old tractors that are worth nothing to us. Somebody is gonna restore them and make them good again. And I think some of them are even just gonna be used as like museum pieces because the most of what it looks like they do here is they repair and restore the newer tractors. So yeah, it's pretty cool really. So all four tractors are out now, uh, it's just the hay baler, which uh, looks like it could be interesting, it looks really heavy. Uh, yeah, find out in a second how it goes. So I was just told that um, these two red tractors here at the end, they were built in Coventry and they've gone over to America, been used there for however many years, and now they're back here to be restored. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> they've literally been to America and back. So successful delivery, guys. That's all finished. I'm going to take this off because I'm absolutely boiling. Uh, four tractors and a hay baler. That's it, we're out of here. Ooh, a bit tired getting out of here than I thought it would be. So we're all done, guys. I need to set up the sat nav, that would help. I'm gonna go back to the docks our box on for tomorrow because we're working Saturday. I have a bit of extra pocket money. Need to check that out actually, stop Danny in here and uh, check that sat nav because it looked like it was taking me all down the back roads. I really fancy going down the back roads. It's trying to go.
Oh no, it's not trying to take it on the back roads, it's fine. Two hours to get back, and that's one o'clock. One o'clock into the docks. Two o'clock, hopefully out of the docks and back to the yard, uh, two-ish. Let's go. Yeah, that was a really interesting uh, delivery, that one. Not every day you get to deliver uh, some uh, vintage tractors from America. So yeah, I mean, beats the uh, tin tomatoes and all that that we usually get. <laughs> you know. Can't have it all, can you? Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know tractors is not everyone's cup of tea, but if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give us a little like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.